Let's do now part C of the exercise on positive logic programs. So we have that shirt and a sneaker must belong to the stable model of the program because they are facts. And since a sneaker is in the stable model, this rule applies and we can derive pants also. And we have shirt here and nothing else. So there's nothing else we can derive. So this procedure that we are applying stops and we can return that the stable model is this shirt, sneakers, and pants. Now let's look for the models of this program. We have shirt, sneakers, and pants. So we have to see in the models what is the value of skirt and of sandals and of dress. And actually we know just by simple reasoning that the set where all the three are false and we just have shirt, sneakers and, and pants is a model also because it's a stable model and that the set where the six atoms are true is also a stable model because um, this is always the case that if the set that contains all the atoms of the positive logic program is also a model of the program. We have seen it before. And then we know that all the models will contain these three. Now we can reason by cases and say that if there's going to be a model, either it has these four and, for example, not sandals, or it will have, sorry, I said these four, it was these three and not sandals, or it has these three and sandals. Now, in this case, if we have no sandals in a model, then it must also be the case that dress does not belong to the model, because if dress belongs to the model, then by this rule, sandals should also belong to, the, belong to the model. So by simple reasoning, we can conclude that if a model has shirt, sneakers, pants, and it doesn't have sandals, it doesn't have dress either. And if we, if we look then here, now these rules are satisfied by the model, because by this model or that we are, by this model or any extension of it that we could imagine, because the atoms in the head appear th here. Then for these rules in sandals does not occur in the model, the rule is satisfied. And then for this, Given that dress does not occur in the in this model that we are building here, then sandal, then this rule is also satisfied. So no matter what is the value of a skirt, the extension of this set will be a model. So this means that we can have here shirt, sneakers, pants, not sandals, not dress and not skirt, and also the other option was shirt, sneakers, pants, not T, and not skirt. And now we can check that these two are models. It's trivial to see that they satisfy this, and for these two, it's also the case for both of them. So these two are models of the program. Now, Let's see the extension of this of this set. So if we have sandals, then given that we also have shirt, then we should have a skirt. Let's put it here. Then then the question is what's up with dress, right? So it only occurs in this rule, but this rule is satisfied. This rule is fine for our model because sandal becomes, belongs to the set. So actually what's going to happen is that no matter the value of dress, we are going to have a model. So you do it like this. With no dress. And with dress. And we can check that these two 
uh, models of the program. Right, so then now we know that the models, and here we can just write the atoms, we don't have to write these negations, uh, shirt, sneakers, pants, and shirt, sneaker, pants, so here, this was a mistake. Probably you have spotted it, but I haven't spotted it until until now. That this is this should <coughs> this was the the atom without the negation, right? And here, so that we have the skirt there, and then again all these three, but now with sandals and skirt, and finally the last one where we have all the atoms. Good, that was it. So then we have here the stable models and the models.